In a Congress like this, there are many new advances in the treatment of patients, as in particular patients with uh, cirrhosis and portal hypertension, which is a main manifestation of advanced liver disease and uh, is in a, a severe complication because in turn it is a cause of several other complications. So any advance in the treatment of uh, portal hypertension is important. Portal hypertension is a major uh, consequence of cirrhosis and uh, in turn is a cause of severe complications. So any advance in this field is important for us. And um, I think that uh, major contribution were the demonstration that non-selective beta blockers, uh, which is a class of drugs we know is able to reduce portal pressure, and um, the investigators show that beta blockers are able to improve intestinal permeability, uh, namely reduce intestinal permeability, and this led to a reduction in uh, uh, the systemic uh, levels of cytokines, and which is more important. This had a clinically relevant counterpart. That means the uh, number of episodes of bleeding in these patients were uh, significantly reduced. There are many risk factors uh, involved in the genesis of uh, alcoholic liver disease, but uh, what impressed me was a huge study of, uh, made in over 100,000 women followed for a long period of time. What clearly emerged from this study is that uh, combining uh, metabolic disease, and with metabolic disease I'm referring to obesity, and uh, uh, excessive alcohol consumption uh, increase dramatically the chances to develop a chronic liver disease. And if you are obese and drink an excessive amount of, uh, of alcohol, the chances to get a chronic liver disease are seven. So, I mean, this combination is a deadly combination. Alcoholic liver disease can be reversible uh, in the initial stage, stages. Certainly it is reversible. Even when uh, the chronic liver disease due to alcohol has reached the stage of cirrhosis, the initial cirrhosis, there is proof that it is reversible. Of course, uh, there is a stage beyond which reversibility is not anymore possible. So it is of paramount importance to stop the drinking before reaching this uh, boundary. I think the major challenge is to find out a uh, drug or a combination of drug which is able to um, get rid of uh, uh, hepatitis C virus infection in patients with cirrhosis. And another aspect is to uh, increase our knowledge on the mechanism leading to fibrosis, which is the mechanism who makes cirrhosis developing, and uh, to develop effective treatment against fibrosis.